Hello friends, this video I'm going to introduce recurrent tree and recurrent tree traverse. The problem is subset. For giving input 1, 2, 3, we return one of the combination uh, result like this. So this problem can be easily solved by using recurrent tree. Let's take a look. Firstly, we, we start from index 0 with an empty input that empty we have two options to use to not option one do not use in index zero we got empty option two we using index zero we got one so now we got we got two problems each one is smaller than the original one and we keep doing the same we move index to one and for each sub-problem, we, we use option 1, do not use an index of 1, we got empty, we use that element, we got 2. For another problem, we're doing the same, we're not using, we got this one, we're using that element, we got this one. So, we just keep doing the same for each sub-problem, then at the leaf node of the tree, we get all of the output like this. So we just traveling through the tree until we reach the leaf node of the tree. Let's take a look at the code. We have two options. Option one is to use DFS. Here is our here is our DFS solution. We start from index zero with empty. So here we have option one, do not use that element. And here is option two, we use that element until we reach relief node of the tree here then we add that result into the final result here that's it so the code running through like this firstly we start from zero we are not using zero we got this one and uh, then we move index to one, we go to here, the index becomes to one, we use option one, again, we move to here, we are not using index two, then we keep going to here, now index becomes three, we return from here, then after we return, index becomes to two, we are here, now we're using optional two, we add 3 to the result then we return to here after we return to here index will become 1 then again we are using that element of 1 then we move to here and we go to here then, then go back then we add this one until we traveling through each leaf node. So our another solution is the BFS solution. For the BFS, we need an auxiliary structure to keep in track each index and each result so let's take a look firstly we push empty with index 0 into the queue so we are here then while queue is not empty we pop out we pop out that element from the queue so this be, will be removed then 
we have two option option one option two so now index will becomes becomes one and uh, inside the queue has those two elements now we repeat again queue is not empty we 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 remove this one from the queue and we add two sub node into the queue we add those two into the queue then we keep doing queue is now empty we remove this one from the queue we add those two nodes into the queue then we keep doing for for we remove this one we got those two remove this one we got those two inside the queue remove this one we got those two remove this one we got those two finally each time we remove the node from the queue we reach here until the queue is empty so we add all of the results into the final result here and we return that's it it is very very easy so our third solution is non-recursive non DFS it's just the same as the recursive one the only difference is we use something like BFS we replace the queue with a stack each at beginning we push empty to the stack each time we remove one node from the stack and we push two into the stack until we reach the end of the array then the stack the loop will end it here eventually return from here so that's it thanks for watching